She's down, Robert. She, she's down. She's right where she was. How's it going? Welcome back to uh, the channel. Uh, today we are loaded up and headed to Taos, New Mexico for my bighorn sheep hunt. Um, I drew a U tag up in the uh, Rio Grande Gorge. So we are all loaded up as a family, uh, me, my wife, uh, my youngest boy, and actually a friend of mine, Mike, and his wife, Jessica, and their son, Wyatt, are all headed up to uh, go on this hunt with us. So we are now headed over to go uh, pick them up, load them up, and then head to Northern New Mexico to uh, get us a bighorn sheep. I'm pretty uh, stoked. Uh, even though it's a U tag, it's still a bighorn sheep. So I'm pretty excited. So. Uh, Let's hit the road, let's go pick up Mike and them and uh, head north. Over here picking up Mike. Get in the camera, Mike, don't be camera shy. I'm not camera <laughs> shy, not yet. <laughs> Chachi's burrito. Probably the best burrito in Las Cruces. Hands down. There's the gorge. So we're gonna be doing some sheep hunting. Mike's afraid of heights. Just a little bit. And I'm afraid of heights, so let's see how this goes. Huh? We made it. Just got to the uh, Airbnb that we rented uh, for the four days we're going to be here hunting. Pretty dope. Old adobe house. Uh, so, pretty cool. Said they didn't have any heating in there, but there's actually wall heaters and a big wood stove, so we're heating the fire. Mike's destroying the landscaping. So, let's go inside and check it out. What do you think, Jason? Yeah, I don't do, see a pain run. Do you like this house? Mm -hmm. You're so crazy. Can I see a What do you think, Lai? I love it. It's so cute. Jessica? Daddy. Jessica's love all bundled it. up because we're <laughs> southerners and it's cold as hell up here. Yeah, I just have a camera. Yeah, I want to see a camera. I got the wine. I'm going to probably stay in there Daddy. the fireplace. Oh, my God. The wine? <laughs> Jason wants to Aww. do some filming. Come with me. Walk through here. Okay. We gotta show the house. Wow, cool, huh? Okay, let me see it. Hey. We just gotta find <clears throat> an axe. There's an axe right in the basket. Pretty dope wood stove. Actually, it's. Well, they uh, they left us a hatchet. Cool little house. Oh, that's an awesome wood basket. What? Why do you get all quiet? Because you didn't ask me questions and I'm going to choke on camera and look dumb. Oh, you're Wyatt will talk to you. Why are you not telling people that you're Dinner time. <laughs> yes, please. I would love a sandwich. <laughs> what were you really going to say? What were you really going to say? How are you enjoying your wine? It's very good. You ready to fight? Why is everybody, why is everybody on their best behavior? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Mike. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but she was ready to fight someone in two minutes That's ago. That's a lie. You said you would go out there and fight anybody that showed up. <laughs> Lila is all sorts of screwed up right now. <laughs> How many logs did you fit in the fireplace? Five. <laughs> it's going to be real hot in here real quick. Morning. Today is day one of my Bighorn U sheep hunt. We're loaded up and uh, headed out just to give you a little perspective of what we're dealing with today. The truck is really negative eight degrees. It's cold as hell out here. So, see what we get done. So stay tuned, uh, we're gonna 
Load up a few last remaining things that, we got, that we're gonna need for the day and then uh, we're out of here. So we got our first sheep located for the morning, uh, rams, I mean, we're looking for ewes, so we're going to keep on pressing on along this edge, they're out feeding up on the flats, so that's where we're going to look, we've been looking inside the gorge and I don't think I want to go down there, so we're going to move up to another spot and see if we can't uh, locate some ewes. So we are driving down the road to go find another place to glass and look for sheep, and we find a big old ram in the middle of the road, Mike got within a butt five yards <laughs> and he didn't even care we were walking all around taking pictures it's just crazy but just want to give you an update how the morning's going uh we've seen a lot of sheep probably about what mike oh probably 20 rams 20 rams and like a handful of ewes we got one ewe across the gorge but that's the Taos Pueblo land so we can't hunt it and she's laying out there in the middle of the open just teasing us <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna keep moving down this little two-track road it pretty much follows the whole edge of the gorge keep looking around uh, we did get this morning about five yards from a big ram that was pretty exciting it got right up on the truck <laughs> pretty much drove right up to him uh, but that's the only sheep we've seen on uh, the BLM that we can actually hunt on. So we're going to keep hunting and uh, see what happens. I mean, shoot, we're only an hour and a half from the hunt. We've seen a ton of sheep. So that's a good sign. Deep sucker. I got some more sheep located, uh, but dang, like all the other ones we found, they're all across the uh, river, which puts them on uh, the Taos Pueblo, which we can't hunt. Got a ram, a uh, choust and a ewe on the other side. It's pretty cool to watch. So they were, <clears throat> looks like they're gonna move down and maybe go across the river but now they're going working their way back up so I'm gonna watch them for a few a few more minutes and then we're gonna take off to a different spot where we have BLM on uh, both sides so we can hopefully get something done maybe get our first stock in the morning so let's see what happens and we're about midday through opening day and the sheep we found have been sheep up on the uh, Pueblo nothing out here on the public land a ton of them over there on that Pueblo though. So we've just been glassing all up and down the gorge, uh, trying to see if we can catch them bedded down. Kind of hard to tell whether they're bedded down on top or they're getting down into the canyon, bedding down or what they're doing. A lot of the sign we're seeing is up on top in the sagebrush, so kind of no telling. So we're just gonna keep poking around. Well, we got some sheep located finally on public land, but we're gonna have to make our way probably an hour or so of drive all the way around the gorge uh to get on the other side hopefully uh make something happen so we're gonna watch them for a little bit see what they do and then make a game plan he laid back down again well should we fucking peel out of here then yeah huh you, you decide man so, i mean standing oh here comes another one let's see that one has no horns. I think that's a lamb. I can see the white from here. <coughs> Fucking crazy. The one with the ear tag and the collar is, I think, the U. Okay. Got itty bitty little horns on it, though. So it's probably, what, about a thousand vertical? And then another two, three hundred to get up in a position where we can shoot those sheep. Easy. The sheep are in that shaded spot right there. So right, right now we're just trying to come up with a game plan of what we're going to do. 
So hopefully in the next few clips, you'll see a dead sheep, but I'm not gonna speak too soon. Tell you what, this is a frustrating deal. <laughs> so we drove two hours around to find some sheep, well, to get on the sheep that we found earlier, to get here and not find them. And then we might glasses across the canyon where we were, and there was sheep. So, I tell you what, this hunt is actually pretty frustrating. And what makes it frustrating is this gorge because you just can't go across it. I mean, some of it's impossible. I mean, if you, some of the terrain here, I mean, it's it's a pain in the pain in the ass pretty much. So. Uh, we're gonna check these out <clears throat> last round a little bit longer maybe we can find something on our side This morning we had to do a little bit of finagling around. Uh, we located those sheep yesterday, but they're part of a, I guess a monument. So you can't discharge a firearm within a mile of there. So that plan got nixed this morning. So we had to come up with a plan B and I think we're on plan C right now. So hopefully we can get some more sheep found this morning and uh, make something happen. All right, got some more sheep located. Got about six head of sheep, I think four ewes, two rams. They are kind of in that little vicinity right there. So we're gonna have to make our way around a point, try to get down in there and see if we can't get across from them. So we're gonna try to come up with a game plan now and uh, see what happens. Well, we're headed off. We're gonna walk out to a point over here and hopefully be able to get within a manageable shooting distance. It's probably gonna be a long shot. Um, I'm trying to get it as close as I can. If we get one down, probably gonna have to drive all the way across the canyon, drive around like we did yesterday, back to the other side, and then uh, drop down to recover that sheep. But we'll see what happens. I mean, I don't know if we can get across the river on this side, that's the only problem. So, see what happens. Change of plans. Guess we're gonna go back to the truck and drive an hour all the way around the gorge. Try to come up on top of them. They're all bedded down, laid up in some rocks. So, I don't think they're gonna go anywhere for a while. Um, but hopefully when we get there, we're able to see them. So let's see what happens on that deal. We got over there, try to get a range, can't even range them. That range finder will do like 20, 2,200 yards. Can't even get a range, so. And there was just no way to drop down into the gorge right there. All right, we got where uh, it needs to be. It took us about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes to get around. Uh, we got about a 300 yard walk to get up to the ledge and take a look over and see if we can't see those sheep down there. So hoping something happens because that road is rough to get in here. Well, anyways, well, stay tuned. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get on them. All right, so we're walking up and uh, ended up bumping into two rams. So we're trying to sneak around, see if there's any use with them.
had to be where they were at. Right down here. This is the not so fun part of the That? You don't see him? Okay, she's gonna be north, west of the ramp. One, two, that's the third, three U's in a row. It's the farthest south U. going down she's down yeah she's down Robert she's down she's right where she was when you shot the th uh, third time or the second time she's rolling over now she's rolled over on her side she's out right we got shot down uh, wasn't some very good shooting uh, wasn't too happy with that but nonetheless we got a U down uh, now the recovery portion of our day is going to begin and it's already pretty late in the day but we gotta get down there and uh, get her all gutted out and everything. So sorry we didn't catch that on video. I do have the shot and the video off my phone scope, but uh, we didn't catch anything else. But it was a pretty jacked up shooting spot we had to shoot from. Um, I was having to kind of like sit down. The gun was kind of doing one of these numbers straight down. I'll show you kind of where we're at here. I mean, we're looking straight down. Um, Wish we would have had a better position to shoot from but i mean that's all we had so we may do with what we had but either way we got a dead sheep at the bottom so stay tuned and uh we'll uh, be heading down the road back her up now there comes miguel a good dude right there. Come and do this crap, you don't have a tag. Alright, well, we've been trying to get to the sheep uh, since you guys last saw us. But yeah, there's no way down these bluffs. So we are going to have to go across over there to some trails. Come down and across the river and get her in the morning. Uh, it's like about four o'clock, 4.30 in the afternoon, and we're running out of daylight, and this place is too sketchy to be roaming around in the, in the dark. So I guess that's gonna be it for uh, day number two. We'll catch you guys on day number three for the pack out. Recovery day, best day in the world. Yep, it's gonna be a suck fest, but here we go. It's going to be steep as shit. <laughs> We're making our way down this trail, me and uh, Mike. And I've only been on it like about 10, 15 minutes. And I've dropped a significant 
amount of elevation. So we still got to go kind of over in that general area. But yeah, we're pretty much almost to the river. Almost to the river now and then find a way to cross it. And then hopefully walk right up on her. Right. All right, we got to the sheep finally. It's taking us all morning. Uh, man, this hunt, this hunt ain't, hunt ain't easy. A lot of people say it's easy. It's not easy. Um, we tried to go across the river this morning. Ended up burning two hours of our morning. Ended up having to drive all the way back around. Hike down, and finally found her. But man, this place is deceiving as hell. So anyways, uh, we're gonna get to work on her because she's already been out here way too long. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Be the last stretch of this sheep hunt. We got uh, packs are loaded heavy, and we are about to make our trek up this nasty little chute. Well, up this hill, this rock slide, or whatever you want to call it. Up to the left, over here, we have a chute that we're gonna have to uh, shimmy up. I mean, it's not very far footage wise. I think we're like 200 yards from the top, from the top top, but uh, linear 200 and something yards, but it's steep, steep. And it's got a lot of loose rock. That's what makes it uh, kind of a pain in the neck. So we're gonna throw these packs on and get going and uh, hopefully get out of here pretty quick. This is, I guess this is what they call sheep hunting. We're getting the whole experience today. Pay for the full ride. <laughs> yeah. Mike paid. Mike paid for the full ride. Round trip. This is trash. This is trash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is rough. rough. Oh my god. This is bad. I mean, people that told me about this hunt, I mean, they make it seem like it's just oh so easy and so on and so forth. Um, but if you're gonna sh sh actually, ooh, I can't even talk. You can actually sheep on it. This stuff is brutal. I mean, it's straight up, it's straight down, it's shale, and it's not easy. And this pack is not light. That pack is not light. But good thing is we're about halfway back to the top, so making forward progression, that's all that matters. Three quarters of the way to the top. This has been whew, something to else. Whew, this is a lot tougher than any Barbary sheep hunt I've ever done. And I've hunted quite a few Barbary sheep and this is just, man, it is freaking just straight up. I mean, it's hard to tell in the video, but it is just straight up. So we gotta go through there and right around that bend is a uh, crack we have to go up so we can get to it so we can get the heck out of here and head head home so we get this uh, sheep on ice it's those, those damn sage I couldn't get any grip sorry there's our final stretch Right at the top of those damn trees. And we're at the ranger. Whew. All right, guys. Just got back to the ATV. Time's about 2.30 in the afternoon. I think we started this whole deal. 11.30. Oh, 
back at the ranger mike's flir flirting i can't even talk mike is now filtering in so we are going to throw these packs in the atv and head back to the trucks and go to town and get uh, this uh, sheep on ice because she's been down there since uh, yesterday at about three o'clock almost now no about four o'clock so yeah she needs to get on some ice before uh, this meat goes bad um other than that uh, it was a tough hunt super tough hunt a lot tougher than everybody kind of made this out to be everybody kind of acts like this is some kind of gimme hunt um it wasn't in our case all the sheep that were on top were on the pueblo side <laughs> can't hunt there um everything we found on public land it's down in the canyon so you're either you're gonna shoot from the top down and then you have to go down there and get it there is no coming down to the bottom because you got to go up the other side uh, this is a tough hunt this was a well-deserved sheep on mine and mike's part both on both of our parts i'm sorry i think we've earned about every inch of horn and every ounce of meat that we're gonna take back with us uh, this is tough but like as always uh, thanks for watching and uh, remember to please like and subscribe